Hello everyone, and welcome back to Val Feeds the City Construction Challenge Beast. I'm your host, Val Death, and today we're going to be doing some work on a new building. Here in the industrial area, we're going to be working on this plot back here, the liquid processing facility. I'm just here in our little workshop, recharging our energy cell for our tree farm. And been doing a couple of little things off camera, but uh, I wanted to talk a little bit about why I've haven't recorded in some time. Uh, there's been a lot going on in my life, uh, real life. I've been switching jobs, and I actually just injured myself. I re-injured a shoulder injury from oh about 10 years ago now, when I was uh, 20. Uh, snowboarding, an old snowboarding accident. <laughs> I just re-hurt. So unfortunately, I found out I actually re-injured myself, like really re-injured myself, and I have to have surgery again on my shoulder. So uh, in about a week here, so I, this will probably be the last episode for quite some time. Um, I have about a month and a half recovery time before I'll be able to even think about using my shoulder again. So you know, there'll be a little while till I'll have some more videos, but don't worry, I'm not going away, I'm not quitting or anything like that. I, I will be back making good stuff for you guys. Let's go ahead and toggle this output right there. There we go, now the tree farm should be working. We should start seeing items flow in here shortly. Hmm. Oh, thanks dog. Alright, well, let me go get some stuff prepared and we'll get ready to go on today's building episode. It's going to be kind of a lot like this building here. I want it to be have a factory feel. Um, I do end up kind of liking this. Oh, I forgot the door over here. You know, it ended up being not too bad. It's similar but different. And I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing back here. I've already got some building materials left over, things I'm going to work on. So let me uh, get situated and we'll get building. All right, everybody, here we go. Here's the beginning of it. So I basically just made the outline, replaced all of the scaffolding with my outline. Start with the pillars, as always. Three high, and then the block you can't see, I'll use as dirt to fill in the holes. And then we'll have the outcropping here for the second level. And then I just followed my pattern from the other factory building we made on the short side and the long side. They're actually exactly the same, these two buildings. So you can see I'll have room for a two wide window, a two wide window, and then here's the, the pattern to separate it. These are big blocks and then stairs where the windows go. Likewise on the long side we'll have a two bay window, a two wide window, and then a single window, single window, and then a two wide window. Now on either one of these corners, I can designate one of these two wide windows to be a doorway. Or kind of how I did over there, make it a... Uh, on the side where I do the doorway, I can change up the pattern a little bit instead of having these two wide windows. Because the doorway is really one of these size, like a single window. So if I put this single window area over here, it, I can move this over. You know, I'll have double, single, double, single. That's basically what I'm going to do. And I think that'll probably be over here. There's not a really good road connection to this area. Um, kind of on purpose. So, I don't know, I was thinking over here. Or likewise, maybe over here. Maybe actually make it right here on this side. Um, just, I can't really fit a road here. Although I can make like a little path or something. A small path. So i got to get over to this area. So I'm thinking I might have some kind of something through here. Anyway, that's my thoughts. I'm going to build this stuff up to the second level, and I'll be back in a little bit. Alright, everybody. I reshaped the staircase a little bit, brought it back two blocks, I think it was, before the start going downwards. And then made a little path here between the two buildings. It's only a two-wide path instead of a three-wide path, like the main streets. So it's kind of like a, I'm thinking like a side street. Uh, and that's because I made the distance between these two buildings even. As you can see up there, there's two blocks between them, not one. And that's why this is too wide. But I kind of think that's that's okay. 
I uh, continued that all the way down over here and made a little staircase. It did not line up exactly with this door. It was off by one block. So if I did plan this better from the beginning and scooted that building over one, it would have all lined up perfectly. But, you know, that's pretty darn close. So I'm happy with that. And then I also took it up here and decided that this corner will be my entrance along this side here only because out this edge is where my piping will go and you know from the inside of the building I'm going to have pipes connected to the tanks and it going underground so I really won't want my door right there on top of the pipes so I'll come in here on the kind of on the side and come along the side so all I've done so far besides the road little work there is raise all the walls up as you normal Fill in the torches, cleared out the floor uh, with my excavator, or my death vader. And now I'm just going to fill in the floor here with a stone, make it look like a, the foundation slab. And then we'll work on the second floor. I'll be back to show you guys an update here in just a flash for you anyway. It'll be a few minutes for me. Here we go. I've been working on this for about another Minecraft week, you know, five, six or seven maybe uh, Minecraft days, and this thing goes across. I sleep through the night, been building during the day, just uh, just cause, using my sleeping bag. But as you can see, I got the main framework in place, got the roof kind of outlined going, and all the, the ribs, let's come in here and take a look on the inside. Uh, all the ribs doing the exact same building as the other one that's why I'm kinda going through this one pretty quickly uh, I different a difference though is I made the staircase here on the side thinking I'm gonna want more room kinda lengthwise here and yeah I kinda decided to do this top part before finishing off the second story walls just because it's easier to get around as I um, have to start filling in these columns it's just a little harder to get around over here in this little corner where I've got the uh, staircase. So this one we do next is finish filling in everything. And these will be our windows right here. You get stair, stair, and there we go. And then these corners, of course, where you know that just be a hole. I'm gonna go ahead and fill it with dirt. Just so I can't have a chance of a mob spawning in there or something. I don't want to put a light in there. It's easier just, it's better just to fill in the holes um, performance wise. And then right here where I actually have all of these um, torches, I'm actually going to jut out the walls and put the torches on there like that. Whoops, I fell. But I gotta go grab more stone bricks right out here. My little build chest. Or make some more anyway and get back to work. I'm going to finish this off, come back and show you guys what it looks like when we're done in just a little bit. Well, Alright everybody, welcome back. I have completed the liquid processing facility. Let's come take a look. I'll get rid of the scaffolding here. So basically it looks exactly the same as the other one. I even have the outcropping on the third floor there. Uh, but unlike the power plant, I didn't put bushes all the way around. Um, I haven't put glass in yet. That's what I need to do. Uh, I gotta go get some more panes. I'm using the chisel one, so I'm gonna have to go do that. Uh, I got some glass right here I can make panes out of. Ah. Alright, but um, aside from the windows and the door here, I got all the roofing, the wall work done. I'll probably put in a third floor on this particular building, definitely to have offices up there. The power plant building as well, I'll most likely have uh, some sort of third floor. Uh, the second floor here will probably also be open. 
Um, just depends on how big the tanks are that I end up putting in here. But I'll put all that stuff in here starting probably next time. We'll start doing some work towards the actual machines. Um, there's still a lot more to do this age, a lot more house building, a little bit in the market. Uh, we got some fortification things to do. But this is the main stuff I wanted to get as far as the industrial section goes. Now I can actually start filling these things with machines and really start getting my power generation kind of chain going. You know, all the liquid biofuel production over here, biomass biofuel, pump that over into this building where we actually turn into steam and then make power out of that and maybe have uh, energy cells and all that good kind of stuff. All right, thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Like I said, I may not have too many more episodes over the next month or so, but I'm trying to do some extra recording, so you know, I'm not. I don't. My channel doesn't go totally quiet. Uh, thank you all again, and I'll see you guys next time.